Hey guys, it's Todd Burns. I just uh, caught my bunny drinking out of his uh, water and I basically wanted to make this video really quick um, because I was having some trouble uh, getting him transitioning from just filling a bowl up with water um, and that's the way he normally drank his water and then to getting them to this bottle um, hanging on the cage and I also put one there as well so he has two so he's gonna be plenty hydrated but um I kinda wanted to just do this video in case anybody else is having trouble weaning their weaning their uh, rabbit or I guess even guinea pig or whatever from a water dish bowl to the bottle um and what I did was, <clears throat> hi, let me come in. Oh, and I also updated his litter box. I got a huge one, <laughs> um, just so he can't kick any of his bedding out now, and his hay all stays in there, so it's way less messy. Uh, and plus, he's such a big bunny, um, and he's gonna get even bigger. I figured, why not just get it? Cause I saw it, and there was a good deal on him. Sorry, back to the. Uh, water bottle. Um, so anyways, what I did was I took his papaya, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of blurry, sorry. This papaya treat, and I broke it up, and the inside's all mushy um, and sweet, and I basically just rubbed that um, around and all over the tip of the water bottle and it stuck to it really easy because I didn't ha I was going to use banana but I didn't have any bananas ow sorry <laughs> so I just trip over the litter box so um sorry my hair's crazy um yeah so I put that hey sorry I don't have my don't eat the carpet so I put the hey no no carpet um, sorry. <laughs> so, I put, you know, the papaya, um, on the tip of the water bottle, and he obviously was drawn to that and then wanted it to eat off of it, so that's what he basically did, and so, and then knew his water was, uh, there, and he's been drinking out, drinking out of them ever since, and the only reason why, sorry, I wanted to, um, get him out of drinking out of a water dish is because A, it's a pain to clean it daily and then two his fur gets caught all on the top layer of the water and while he's drinking the water he can ingest excuse me ingest a lot of his fur and as you know <laughs> um, if rabbits ingest too much of their fur it's just not healthy for them, even though he's got plenty of hay to, um, you know, eat and break down food and even his fur inside. I just, if I can avoid a problem, I just want to fix it. So basically, that's why I wanted him to get out of the water dish and then get into the water bottle. So his water stays clean, no fur gets in it, and I don't have to worry about him ingesting more fur than what he already does naturally by cleaning himself, so. <laughs> Sorry, this took me a long time to just uh, explain. It shouldn't have taken that long. But anyways, he likes his, um, he doesn't mind hopping in. and I think he actually really likes his big, big uh, litter box now. It's more of like a little play area for him because he loves digging in there. Um, I also had his, um... At the bottom layer of his litter box, I had baking soda, and some people are fine with it, but for me, I don't know, it just weirded me out, because my rabbit's a digger, and he would dig to the very bottom and um, eat, hi baby, <laughs> I usually have a treat for him, he would eat his um, baking soda that was on there, and I just didn't feel comfortable with that, especially if you just got too much of it. It made me feel unsafe. Here you go. Here you go. So, 
Anyways, that was just a little update on Dumbo and what I did with his uh, water dishes. So if you're having trouble um, getting your rabbit or any other pet off of the water dish into a water bottle, just try doing that. Um, you can put banana on there as well on the tip and soon they'll pretty much get it. Alright, thanks.